Hey guys, so continuing on from last time, we're going to run down the uh, last four cars of the Ferrari Essentials DLC. I had to break it into two, as you guys might have heard if you watched the first video, it was just too much for one video. So here is cars five through eight. Enjoy the video and thanks for watching. Next up guys, we have the Ferrari F355 Challenge. So we have uh, jumped forward into the year 2000, although from what I'm reading this actually came a bit earlier. Um, anyway, uh, 355 Challenge. So uh, yeah, I mean, what a car, look at this thing. So you could order this, uh, the 355 with a $30,000 add-on. I mean, why not? If you're buying a Ferrari, what the heck? And it added a number of features, roll cage, bucket seat, safety, harness, fire extinguisher, etc., etc., and a number of performance upgrades as well. Um, yeah, this is a straight-up race car. This is a track car, a modified version of the 355, actually. We're still in the V8 era, and um, this thing, although it has less than 400 horsepower, which doesn't sound tremendous, it is lightning fast out there, and a really well-balanced race car meant for sort of one-make races, so I think it'll be a fun one to have in project cars too so the 355 challenge is the number five car in no particular order again we're just going chronological but let's get into the final three cars next up guys we have the 458 special a so we've got <laughs> we've broken free of the red uh theme so far and jumped into this yellow beautiful 2015 modified 458 so this thing is pumping out north of 600 horsepower and goes 0 to 60 in 3 seconds flat. This is quite a vehicle. Now, I have, uh, spoiler alert, I have tried this car on track and it ranks among my favorite in project cars too from the first few laps. It feels really fantastic, so I'm looking forward to a bit more time with this guy on the track and we'll get into that very, very shortly. 458 Special... Yeah, this thing is a heck of a car. Again, 600 horsepower and um, yeah, not much in the way of creature comforts. There, It's just there to tear up a track, man. This thing looks awesome. Let's get into the final two cars. Next up, guys, the 2016 F12 TDF. Quick, what does the TDF stand for? Tour de France. I mentioned earlier that the 250 had a lot of success at the Tour de France car race. It was, we think of it as a bike race now, but it was a car race for almost 90 years. And Ferrari's success in that led them to pay homage to it with a uh, special version of the F12. So this thing goes 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds and 0 to 200 in under 8 seconds. So an absolute beast of a car. This is a slightly track modified version of the F12 that you can drive on regular roads. So yeah, there's a whole lot going on here. This is a powerful, scary, crazy, modern version of a supercar. I can't wait to drive this thing. All right, let's jump into the final showroom car. So here we are, guys. This is it. Save the best for last. A totally unworthy of regular road car, the FXXK. Under 1,500 kilograms dry, over 1,000 horsepower being thrown to the rear wheels here. Uh, this thing has a Kerr system, hence the K in the FXX system. So you are regenerating a battery and using that to overcome what could be shifting lag in the 7-speed paddle shift transmission. In all likelihood, none of us would notice that, but uh, somebody thought it was unacceptable, and if you're building one of the fastest cars in the world, um, fastest non-race cars, I guess you could call it, um, you wouldn't want any lag from anything, so they have overcome that with a battery. Again, uh, 1,500 kilograms, 1,000 horsepower. This is a straight-up track car. You can look up videos of people driving this thing. It is nuts. It is an absolute crazy beast of a car. And, and again, another one I can't wait to get out on track. Speaking of which, uh, Imola, despite the fact that we have two new tracks, Imola will be our test track of choice today. So we're going to take all eight cars out there and uh, just do a warm-up lap and then a hopefully somewhat speedy lap. I don't think you can be anything but speedy with this FXXK. I'm loving it. All right, guys, let's jump out there and have some fun. 
All right, guys, 355 challenge. It is time. I'm looking forward to this one. <laughs> what a car. I'm still no heads up display. Man, I even went into the settings and tried to adjust it. Take it easy until we have some tire temp. And again, this is not a high horsepower race car. We're talking about 400 if I'm not mistaken. But for what it is, it's just track ready in every way, so it kind of squeezes the most out of that 400 horsepower. And I need to push this car a lot harder, breaking way too early into these corners. Still treating it like an F40. Six speed manual transmission, H pattern. <laughs> that was interesting. Good thing it came on the warm up lap. Just getting some much needed grass onto the tires. There we go. Come on, Mike. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Car feels outstanding, by the way. That error was totally me. Tried to get too aggressive with the curbing there. This thing sits too low. Sixth gear for the first time this video. Down four gears. Nice car. So responsive, it's incredibly responsive. Like I say, it's track tuned, so it squeezes the most out of that 400 horsepower engine. Very nice, very stable. I think you'd get some real good fun out of this in a one make race. And it feels stable enough that I think you kind of get that old school feel, but you could probably add elements like uh, weather to it and not feel like you're totally outdone by the AI. Very nice. Very nice. Probably my second favorite so far behind the BBLM. I like it. I like it a lot. 355 challenge. 
Very good car. Very nice. All right, guys. Super excited about this. This is the 458 Special. Yes, I'm looking forward to this one. Can't wait. Can't wait. Let's do this. Again, we're going yellow. We're not going red for this one. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Terrible start. Terrible start. Forgot I had my transmission engaged from the last session. Let's try this again. Yes. So huge step forward in terms of technology here. It's coming straight off the 355 challenge into this. This car just feels limitless by comparison. And is an absolutely, absolutely outstanding car. Wow. This, I think, ranks among the best cars in Project Cars 2. I'll go ahead and say it. I think this is absolutely fantastic. That turning response is just outstanding. And the straight line speed, I mean, come on. You guys can't see it, but you can possibly read the dial there. One fifty, one eighty, two hundred, two forty. <laughs> Clip the wall. Too busy watching my speedo. Absolutely fantastic. What a car. Even like I butchered those racing lines through that sequence. And it still doesn't absolutely punish you. What a brilliant car, guys. I can't say enough good things about this. Even that uptight race director can't ruin my experience today. <laughs> Go for the win. I'm going for it. I will accept no less than first place. Yes. Man, I wish I had like five more laps. This thing is incredible. Very nicely done on the 458 Special. Uh, number one so far. Good job, Slightly Mad Studios. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Can't wait for the next. All right, guys. So we have the 512, or excuse me, the F12 TDF, Tour de France. Nearly 800 horsepower in this car, and we are ready to get out there to Imola. Yeah. Gotta love those lines, man. I was praising the old school ones, but this is... 
No slouch either. Got at least part of a heads-up display back. I don't know why, but my options reset. This thing is fast as a bullet. Look at that speed. Oh, man. What? Alright. Curse me for going fast. I didn't think I exceeded any track limits, but I could be wrong. Alright, so this one feels not my favorite. Feels like, well, for one thing, I don't like that sound very much. Uh, but in terms of feeling, it feels like a whole bunch of straight line speed, but it's not really meant for a track. Despite being a track ready car, I don't know. Feels heavy. Give it a go with our tires nicely up to temp now. But <laughs> look at that speed. 280. Yep, knew that was coming. Yeah, you got to be pretty gentle with your corner approach here. It does have an understeer tendency. Just feels like it's because of the weight. Could be a little more fun if we had uh, if we had traction control turned off. I've got everything set to default. I don't even know if I have a button map for traction control. Do I? Nope, doesn't look like it. So this one, unfortunately, guys, I think ranks kind of near the bottom. Just feels... Uh, I don't know. Kind of heavy compared to the rest. Now, granted, I'm coming off driving two very track-capable cars. And this one... I don't know, it just feels quite... Uh, what's the word? Modern heavy, I guess. by comparison. So not my favorite, not a bad car by any means, but uh, yeah, ranks among the bottom of the group for me. But we still have one more to go, so I'd be excited about that. And without further ado, let's get into the FXXK. Okay guys, perhaps the moment you've all been waiting for, the FXXK here at Imola. Track day A class, and why not? <laughs> Look at this beast. All right. You can see it has the electric motor monitor in the lower right there. Thousand horsepower. And yeah. It is a absolute laser beam of a car. If if this thing drives like this in real life, I can't imagine 
how this is fun at all. I mean, this is scary fast to me in a sim. Unless you happen to find yourself in a desert. I mean, I just can't imagine this is anything but scary. Whoa. With that said, if anybody has an FXX key they'd like me to try test drive, I'm your man. Here we go. Quick lap. We should be down somewhere around the low 140s, I would think, for the next lap. Cut a bit of grass there. Whoops. So much for the 140s. Completely screwed that one up. Definitely a learning curve to this. You guys are seeing me suffer here. It's just so fast. Those corners just come up on you so quick. It's the opposite. I can't remember what car I was driving, but I said uh, you just have to let the car correct itself. FXXK seems to be the opposite. You got to kind of fight it to, <laughs> to keep it straight. But I mean, look at that speed 200. car this represents you know a whole lot of technology and evolution it's a kind of a fitting way to end this video guys it's insane what a car what a what a great great car um, it's perhaps less uh, exciting to drive than the previous but just because you have so much of that technology but all in all guys really phenomenal so, um, well done to Project Cars 2 and the whole team on this DLC pack. I think there's a lot to offer here. I think they've done a really nice job. Um, if I had to rank my favorites, yeah, it's the 458, number one, uh, by some measure. Uh, 512 BBM, BBLM is my next, and then the 355 Challenge. All three great cars, all eight great cars, I'm not going to lie, but uh, I just have three that are kind of outstanding to me. So, I'm going to run some more laps in some of these cars. Uh, watch for that in the coming days. And uh, thanks guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.